Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to update our NetBeans IDE 8 installation to NetBeans IDE 801. So here you see NetBeans 8 starting up. Once it's started up, we'll see a message notifying us that there is a new version of NetBeans available and that it can be installed directly into the currently running NetBeans. As you can see, bottom right, NetBeans IDE 801 is available. Click on the notification button and we can also see the message there and next we can see the updates that are going to be installed. So these are all the modules in NetBeans IDE that have been updated or new ones added which all add up together to NetBeans IDE 801, this complete list. Click Next accept the licensing terms and then the installation process can begin. Okay, all the licenses for all the modules that have changed or been added are shown. We're going to have a look at them to see which features are impacted by the update to 801. And then you can start the update process. The update process is going to take quite a while. You can watch the updates being installed into NetBeans. This will take a while. So we'll see you again at the point where all of the updates have been added. Um, and before we go there, we'll quickly create a new Java application because once the update is complete, we will see that the icons of the Java files will be different, which is one of the new features in 801. Interfaces and Java classes have different icons, so you can easily identify the difference between them. And so one way that we will see that the update has succeeded is if those icons change. Okay, and now the update process begins, and we'll be seeing you at the point where they complete, which is about half an hour from this point. Okay, the modules are installed and we are now restarting NetBeans and you can see immediately that the splash screen says NetBeans IDE 801. That's the first significant change in the update process showing that you succeeded in performing the update. Secondly, take a look at your Java files. Interface classes now have a different icon, as you can see here, to their implementation. So this is an, an interface or an abstract class, and the other one is a standard Java class. You can see in the title bar, 801. You can see in the splash screen, 801. Go to the services window, and you can see that you can register for the first time without installing any plugins, Wildfly, which is part of the 801 release. That's it. Congratulations. You've updated NetBeans 8 to NetBeans 801 without reinstalling.